So, recall command. Um, I just want to show you our progress in this command. Um, I haven't done this for a while and I noticed because we were all very focused on healing and I haven't done recall command for a while and I noticed that he is uh, slightly crooked when he comes into the position in front of me. So I started working on that. Uh, and uh, to fix that, I started working on a shorter distance. Today, I just want to show you where we are in the practice. What? Good boy. Who's? likes to run with the ball too far. So you saw, I don't know, maybe I was blocking the view, but he was not straight and I think you probably could see that. And so what I do is that I correct him because I tell him that's not acceptable. I uh, bring him closer to me by dragging the, the collar and just saying, come. So he knows what I want, good boy. And then I step literally one or two steps, no more, back. And then I call him again so he can correct himself and make make it right and then if he is right then I reward him if he is not right I would repeat I would correct him and tell him to stay and then step backwards a few steps and then recall him again until he is correct and I only reward when he's correct and then if you notice I only reward behind me I always did this in recall command um, because I want the dog to aim the position between my legs because he knows the ball the reward is coming that direction always and so that gives him an aim even when he's just running towards me he knows that sometimes I throw the ball between my legs and then that's where he needs to aim and so that keeps him his body uh, more straight and at least he has a target right because uh, if the dog doesn't have a target when you're recalling then it's hey, then it's much harder to uh, work on his position. So let's try again. When I work on the recall position, I let the dog run through my legs maybe twice or three times and maybe every third or fourth time I do one uh, position uh, where, where he just stops in front of me. But mostly I work on him passing through because I don't want him to lose the speed to anticipate that he needs to stop. Okay? Eight. Enough. Six. Lots. Lots. Enough. Give it to me. 
I good. <laughs> and then also when I practice alone without recording, I change this the distance. Sometimes it's five steps, sometimes it's 15, sometimes it's 30. So I change how many steps I go away from him. And if he's doing well, I increase the amount of steps. But if he is crooked when coming to me, uh, especially when he needs to sit in front of me, then I decrease significantly amount of steps and make it maybe seven, 10, no more than that, to give him a chance to learn that he needs to be straight. So again, if the dog is not straight, you don't reward and you just saw that I had to repeat it a couple of times before he was straight in front of me uh, and I think he is a bit distracted because there is somebody walking with a little dog that he's very interested in. But nevertheless, uh, that's what you do to correct the position and keep practicing the recall command. Happy training! <laughs>